day guys welcome back I am going to revisit a, a resin coaster that I did when I first started my resin so it was maybe six months ago um, and I really liked it but I've learned so many things from then oh I'll get it this is it here um, now it's not amazing <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, as I said, I learned a lot. So I want to revisit and see if I can improve on this one. Um, do two layers. First layer with the, the colour and then the second layer with the gold leaf, which is not what I did with that one. So um, I am using the Platinum Ultra. The dogs are growling. Oi, stop it. Stop fighting under the table. I think there's five under the table today. They all wanted to come out, so... The, the Platinum. I'm using, um, I'm going to have a combination of these two, Golden Sand and Pink Pearl by Fairy Dust, Pixie Dust. I keep calling them Fairy Dust. Pixie Dust Pigments, <laughs> mixing those two together. And I'm going to add these two together, the White Pearl from Artie Sue and a little bit of the Pinata Alcohol Ink. So those are my colours and then lots of clear and then the next layer will be the Gold Leaf. So let's get started. I'll put some of this in first, mainly the pink and just a little bit of the, the sand. That's that one. Pink pearl and a little bit of the sand like that. Probably about a quarter. We'll see what it looks like. I can always add more if I need to. Got my resin here. I mixed, uh, what did I mix? I'm going to do half a cup. Did 110 grams of A and 90 grams of B. And then the top layer I will do, I wrote it down, the next layer I will do 85 of A and 40 of B. For my top layer with the gold leaf. Because you know how if I do the gold leaf now, the, the colour just floats over the top of the gold leaf and you don't see it. So I'm going to be trying to do two layers instead. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Just a hint of that golden sand makes the pink pearl. It just, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. It really is. I love it. And I want it to be a little bit on the transparent side with the, the whole resin coaster. So I'm going to add a lot of clear and see if I can get that but if I don't that's okay I just like these colors together all right so that's that one and then the white dropped some mica powder in there I'll have to wipe that out uh, so a little bit of the white scoop like that Put that one there as well so that you can see. I don't know if you can see those. I should probably put that on the other side so that you can see it. Right. Um, probably about half a cup of that as well. And I'm going to do three drops of the alcohol ink, the white. Oops, I think four went in. Doesn't matter. That's that there. And we'll mix those in. Actually, that's not quite half a cup. Might need a bit more. And then the rest of it's going to be my clear. Look at that, I've dripped in there. I'll come around and make sure I'm still taping. Oh, I went to see the new Wonder Woman movie. Wonder Woman 1984. Wow, was it fast-paced and action-packed. I must say, I loved it 95%. If they'd just stopped half an hour earlier, I would have been happy. <laughs> you know how it just sometimes the movies just go over the top and you think, oh, it's just it's too much. Just stop already. But um, it was enjoyable. Look, it was the first time we'd been out to the movies all year, I think, with the COVID thing happening so it was very nice the whole family went 
we got our popcorn and our frozen coke and our choc top ice creams. <laughs> Went to VMAX. Oh, wow. Never going to a normal cinema ever again. VMAX. Whoa, the bomb. Nice big seats. We didn't get the recliner ones up the front though because I didn't want to be up the front. But nice big comfy seats. Plenty of room. You know, you don't have to... If someone's walking past you, you don't have to bend your knees up so that they can get past. There's like a huge amount of room. I stretched my feet out and I couldn't even touch the seat in front of me. <laughs> so, yeah, it was it was fun. Righto. Um, now, let's put some clear in one of these cups as well. Like so, just to even that out. Righto, let's get going with this. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. It looks quite pinky, doesn't it? But um, I just want like a pinky gold. Right, here we go. And talking about pink, look, I think my um, coaster got a bit stained from something that I've been using. I don't know what. But something that I've used has stained it. Oh, well. It's not going to transfer into the, the next one. It's just stained a bit. All right, here we go. Along the outside... And around the outside. Do need quite a lot because I've only got two colours. Whoops, have I got enough? No, I don't have enough. Oh, I hate it when that happens because trying to mix, um, like match it, is going to be really hard. I wonder if I can pinch some. Oh, look, I'll just make some more up. Oops, that's the wrong one. That's the the sand I could just pinch a bit from the others couldn't I because it's going to be really hard to to match them now oh well I guess I did pour a little bit more on than I was planning to for the edges it looks similar it looks well it looks the same I guess <laughs> maybe if I mix it in a bit with the other one now you need to go into your little edges there off you go make sure that it's all gone in to the edges I'll come back and tidy it up in a minute. All right, let's see if this is going to be the same. Let's put a little bit in just to make them all the same. Okay that one done now um, so I'll push you around a little bit use my fingers here go in push you around a little bit oh, fingers don't work as well as a, a wipe does so I get that into the edges there and I'd like that to be just a little bit more on the round side. I don't know if it's going to make any difference at all, but I do like them to start round. All right, I'll just 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 get on with that woman. All right, here we go. Now the white pearly colour is just going to go into the middle and I'll do a puddle this one doesn't look as if it's got as much gold in it does it okay now let's pour a puddle in the middle A little bit on each and then I can go back and put a little bit more on okay 
Okay, that's that one done. Clean my hands because I use my hands to catch the drip. Now what we're going to do is pour some clear into the middle and push that white over the top of the gold so it can do its thing. Do its thing. And I, uh, you know, I don't want to fill these up. I have to leave myself enough room to put the top layer on. So I just pushed it out. And I'll have a little look, make sure they're all about the same. Okay, and I am going to leave that. I have got a tiny bit of resin left over, but that's okay. I'd rather just leave it like that. I hope I've mixed it in all properly, so I don't have any bits of mica powder floating around. Clean up my mess. I don't know why I've brought so many sticks with me. Right, let's torch for bubbles. Oops. And then we just have to wait and watch. What's that? Did I drip there maybe? You to be so careful not to drip because... It, it, oh, maybe just a bubble. It could have just been a bubble that's popped there, I guess. So I had the same thing over here. Might just have been a bubble. Let's see if I can just disguise it ever so carefully. Same with you. Might have been a bubble that did that, hey? I'm just going to move all my little dots, just break them up a little bit. I don't know if that's a bit of mica there that I haven't mixed in properly. Could have been. I was rushing that second lot. So that might be... Alright, stop playing with it too much. Might have been that bit of, I think I was rushing the second time around, didn't stir enough, you know, and sometimes you get a little dot of mica powder that kind of sinks or it floats. So I should have just been a little bit more patient. All right, so that's all I want to do for this layer. And then the next layer I'll come in with my gold leaf. So we'll see how that's going to, to look. And it will change. So I'll come back to you in oh, maybe four hours. And uh, we'll do the top coat. All right, see you then. Righto, I am back. It's been a few hours. Went out to the grocery store, got some more dog food. Oh, I do go through a lot of dog food. <laughs> right, I've got some gold leaf in here. And let's just mix them up into a little paste. Now, it's up to you how big or small you want your gold leaves to be. I, I like them relatively small. I don't want big chunks. Uh, also, I find if you can make them a little bit smaller, you've got less chance of them sticking out through the top. So, I just sort of squish them with the stick try and break them up as much as possible and we do get a bit of air in here doing it like this but unless you want to sit and tear up all your little gold pieces first you could do that and then you don't have to break them up as much I guess right so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pour some clear in so they're, they're set now. I mean, they're still soft, but they're set. So let's pour some clear in. And then I'll just put my gold leaf in the middle. And make sure that we don't overfill anything. We've still got a little bit of room left for the, the gold leaves. So just until this touches the 
outside. I think he's a bit full actually. I might have to take some out of there. There's my little spoon. It moves so slowly that you don't notice it's overfilling because you know one side hasn't touched the edge yet. But I do need to have a little bit of room left for my gold leaf, don't I? So I can't take up all the space. How's that looking? So I'll stand back here and have a little look. Um, move these out of the way so I can look across the top into the light. Okay, this one's a bit full as well now. All right, that should do. I'll give it a bit of a torch. Pop those bubbles. It's a pretty unbubbly resin. Like it doesn't have a lot of bubbles in it. It's a very thin resin, this one. So it is relatively easy to pop, but if there's one that's stuck in there, that one's stuck down the bottom. Come out. Oh no, there's something, something in there. I don't know what that is, something. Alrighty, now let's just put in a little bit of this. Might use the same spoon actually. Seeing as I've already got resin in it. A little bit. <laughs> I've got too much gold here. I always make up too much. Because I don't want a lot. Oops, that was probably a lot in that one. How's it looking so far? Is it looking pretty? Whoops. Now this one over here, I just want to kind of break that clump up a little bit. They can spread out a little bit, that's okay, I don't mind that, but I don't want them to spread out too far. There's a bit of a clump there. I didn't separate my leaves before I started, which I should have done. Because if you don't separate your leaves, you tend to get um, clumps because it's not a very thick layer of resin this one either so you have to be aware of that that um, if it's not a very thick top layer you gotta be careful that your gold doesn't poke through the top don't you so just have a little play with it until it looks as if they're all about equal now some of the little pieces will tend to want to float away don't mind that too much. There's a big clump there. Oh, I really should have broken it up before I started. But I had my gloves on and it's really hard to separate gold leaf with gloves on. So I just thought oh, I'll break it up with the stick, but it didn't work as well as it should have. Okay, I just wanted to look little bit sparse you know you can see through it a little bit oh, that's looking good I'm happy with that happy with that now I just hope there's nothing poking through over the top mm, it's always always tricky when you do your top coat because some of the gold leaf will stick out so we just have to keep an eye on it a little torch again it's not as yellow gold as I was expecting. It's more of a more of a beigey gold, really. It's really pretty though. I, I love how delicate it is. It's really delicate, isn't it? Let me take you down for a close up. I'll get these gloves off. I'll take you down so that you can see. I'll just put you on pause for a sec while I turn off the ring light. Actually, no, I'll leave it on. We'll leave it on. We'll go around here. Let's have to stand over here so that we're not don't have the ring in in our way. So look how delicate it is. It's really, really delicate and pretty. Oh, 
very fine striations on the sides there. Now if you use dark colours you tend to get a stronger striation but I didn't use dark colours but I still got a little bit happening there, a little bit of interest so that's really pretty. And then once I edge them with gold they're going to look amazing I think. But there's, I'm just going to have to play with the gold a little bit because you can see if you look across see how there's little bits poking out through the top there. So I'm just going to have to have a little play with it and poke them down. Uh, but I'll see you tomorrow for the um, the unmolding and we'll paint the edges with some gold. Some gold pen. Alright, I'll see you then. Love them! Hey everybody, I'm back. It's the next day. Coasters are set. So let's get them out and see what we've got. Tiny little bit of overflow there. That's not too bad. Look, I can just pick that out. Got a little bit of transparency. Not a lot, but a little bit there still. Look at that. It's very delicate. It's really pretty. Do you like it? So nice. Got a little bit of a shimmer through there. So it's not... You know, as I said earlier, it hasn't got a lot like the dark striations. I didn't want that. I just wanted something really, really delicate and pretty. Let's have a look at the back. Yeah, not much to look at. I I don't think I've ever really liked the back more than the front. Don't know what's going on there. Hang on one sec. Sorry about that. My... The daughter just came up to get her clothes from the, the laundry. Would have to be in the one minute that I start videoing, she comes upstairs, hey? Always the way. Never mind. I shut the door now so the dogs are out. Um, all right. Uh, is that a bit of overflow? Not really. There's not much of a lip to, to sand there. I'll just give it a really light sanding just like that all the way around with my little emery board, my nail file. Just to smooth off the top edge there and then I'll paint it with the gold pen. I'll do that now. You can see it doesn't take very long at all. I'll just go all the way around. You've got to be really careful not to scratch the top while you're doing this. And you can feel if there's a bit rough there. And if there is, you can just go a little bit more. Like so. I don't tend to do the, the bottom edge unless it's got, unless it's like really, why won't that focus? Um, unless it's really like bubbly or or something like that but I tend not to do the the other side let me just wipe the dust off <laughs> that's what painting scrubs are for aren't they all right now let's I'll get the others out in a minute but we might as well do this while I've got you here captive audience um, is that gonna focus Really pretty shiny gold this one. Oh, I love it. It's the um, the deco color and the gold. It's really pretty. Look at that. It doesn't take a lot to um, to paint it. Just have to give it a push every now and then. Um, I guess my, my coasters, because they've got this rocky edge look, they take a little bit longer uh, to paint, you know, because they're not smooth. But uh, that's what you do. I won't do the whole thing now. Why won't you focus? So that's it there. I won't do the whole thing, but I will just go around the top ever so thin little line. I don't want too much. I don't like it when it's too too thick. 
So you just put your tip of the pen, I'll do it this way, maybe you can see better. Mm, just trying to focus on the back. <laughs> Half on the coaster and half off the coaster. That way you just get a thin line. And also the ridge of the edge of the coaster kind of sits in, into the nib there and holds it in place. Oops. If you make a mistake, just wipe it off straight away. It's taking me a little bit longer because I'm trying to look at what's going on in my screen as well as what I'm doing on the coaster. So it doesn't normally take me this long. Uh, off we go, give it a bit of a shake, shake, shake to get that paint to come down. With this one, this Deco colour, the colour stays on really well. It's actually quite difficult to get off if you make a mistake, you have to wipe it off straight away. If it's on there for more than like two seconds, you have to use um, nail polish remover to get it off. It's, it's really strong. Alright, so that's kind of what it's going to look like once I've done them all but that's just a little a little preview of what they're gonna look like hey alrighty so I'll just sit that there for now let's get the other two out I don't think they're gonna be any different comes out really nicely and you can see that there's nothing poking out through the top there which is really nice <laughs> You just have to make sure if you're going to do two layers, make sure that you leave enough room on your second layer that you can actually, um, you know, have your, your gold leaf actually poking down, not sticking up through the top. So maybe go half, half. I mm, don't know that you can see it there. I've probably gone, it's not quite half, half. I've probably gone two thirds. I'll try and show you. Mm, no, it's not going to focus. Anyway, so there it is. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so happy with these ones. All right, I'm going to go and uh, paint the rest of them. It's a rainy overcast day today, but I'll try and try and get a photo. Might have to leave it for tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you real soon for the next video. 